Welcome back. His brother is a real-life cop down in Miami, but actor Danny Pino plays one on the hit show, Law and Order SVU. We got to get you and your family out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it, Captain. My mother takes our home tonight to DC in the morning. Yeah, and what about you? I'm, I'm good here. Nick, Nick, why don't you come home with me? You and Cassidy. <laughs> No way. That no was a clip way. from tomorrow's new episode, Don't Tell Anyone What Happens. Joining us right now is the man who plays Detective Nick Morrow, actor Danny Pino. Danny, welcome. Thank you. All right, so Thanks, what, is, what is it like playing the role that your brother gets paid for? I guess you're both getting paid for it. Uh, that's right. Well, you know, I get to wear a lot more makeup than he does. <laughs> we, we think. <laughs> yeah. We don't we, know. No, I pretty much guarantee that you know, <laughs> he, yeah, he'll stand up for that. But uh, Is he a resource for you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, both in the positive... You know, and, and in the negative to kind of boost me up a little. In, in what way? Well, you know, he'll give me a call and give me some tips and be like, you know, don't hold your gun like that. This is how we. This is how, <laughs> this, this is how You're we embarrassing do. the family. How, how does yeah. he tell you the correct way a real cop would hold a gun? As a show us the way you were holding it, and then show us the way your brother says you should hold it. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of TV cops, yeah. they, they tend to you know be uh, uh, less than than tactical with their weapon. Right. I mean, real cops tend to push their weapon out from, from, from the middle of their body. Uh, they stabilize it. They have both hands on it. You know, sometimes you see cops doing that on sure. TV and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, you hold, you hold the, the uh, nozzle down when you're not actually uh, looking at a target so you don't, you don't shoot a fellow cop, fellow officer, uh, but things like that. But he, my, my brother is incredibly supportive, too. I mean, he'll give me a call more often than not. Uh, it, it's uh, accolades towards the show and how we represent police officers right. uh, as accurately as we can. And one of the things your show has done uh, for a long time at all the Law & Order series has seems like you take a lot of stories kind of out of the headlines and do your own version of it. Absolutely. Yeah, the writers, I mean, Warren Light and Julie Martin and, and the writing staff, they, they do a fantastic job of combing through headlines and, and then uh, fictionalizing uh, those stories and, and adapting. So that it, it seems close, them. but at the same time, recognizable but different. Right. So you right. are married with one kid, five-year-old daughter. Uh, that's right on the show. On the, on the show, because right, I was like, yeah. no, yeah, no, I don't no, think so. I've got two. So boys. you're in character now. <laughs> yes, I'm so, in character. And how does that play into tonight, uh, tomorrow night's episode? And you know, uh, everything's on the line for Amaro. Uh, he he uh, uh, shoots who uh, somebody who, who he suspects to be a uh, drug dealer. Uh, and after taking uh, him down, they can't find the weapon that he believes shot a fellow officer. Uh, and so not only is he the poster boy for racial profiling uh, within the NYPD, but also abuse of power. Uh, and he has to decide whether fighting those charges uh, is worth it for him and his family. Yeah, That's didn't you also play Desi Arnaz in, in, uh, <laughs> in a project? I did. I did. I played Desi. Uh, that, that, was, that was fun to dance. and uh, It's a little different here, from what I'm doing. Here you are now. right here. Oh, there there's he Lucy. Hey, there's, my, there's that smoking jacket. I've been looking for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, don't That's look too hilarious. hard. <laughs> and uh, for, you, for you personally, what does it mean for you as, as a Cuban-American, and it seems to be more of a chance of normalizing relations there, are you very active in the, in the Cuban community? You know, I'm I'm uh, I'm really not as uh, political uh, as a lot of Cuban Americans uh, are. I do keep my eye on what is happening there. Uh, I think normalizing relations uh, has a lot more to do with Cuba, and 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 how they treat their citizens. Sure. Uh, and I think that that should be reflected in our government once that begins to occur. Well, we treat our citizens well because <laughs> tomorrow night they can watch Law and Order SVU. Mm. Danny, thank you very much. Good luck thank to you. Thank you. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm glad they transferred you to a special victims unit. That's, That's right. where you get to stay on the show. Good job. Thank Our you. best Thank to your you brother. Sure. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, coming up on this Tuesday, are you overwhelmed by the amount of email you get? Try being in the CIA. But there are tricks to managing all those messages. A former member of the CIA is going to show you how to do that and how they do it, so stick around. Delete the ones that come to us, from us. Then, 40 million people suffer from anxiety, and our next guest kept his struggle a secret for years, even from his uncle John Stossel. And John and his nephew join us right now. How do I know they're here? They're right. here. here.